agree with the Deputy President that there's an underhand playing in the handshake that is trying to rock Jubilee? Yes, of course, I foresee that. I, I, I distrust Raila Odinga. Why? For, for, well, of course, based on his history. Remember, he went into Kanu, he destroyed Kanu. He went into a coalition with Kibaki. He destroyed uh, the so-called NAC. So I, I foresee a situation he can as well come into a party and be able to destroy what, what, it. What would you term as destroying the party? Is it for him to try and possibly uh, go for president within now a coalition where he's supported by Uhuru Kenyatta? Of course, uh, most likely he can do that attempt. Remember, his lieutenants have already gone on public declaring that uh, Rela Odinga is going to vie as a presidential candidate come 2022. Uh, so based on that, and we have not seen a rebuke or a denial by Rela Odinga, in fact, I've, in fact, I've seen some headlines. What is, was it on Thursday or Friday where some people were saying the agreement that they signed, Raila and Mudavadi and the rest, did not exclude him expressly from them in 2022. So you see a subtle a campaign on Raila Odinga mm -hmm. to open up a situation where he can justify a run in 2022. So all factors seem to indicate Raila Odinga is going to vie in 2022 and therefore I agree with Ruto there's every likelihood Raila in his mind wants to destroy our political party. All right uh, Michael Aguanda your thoughts on that do you think Raila is out to destroy um, Jubilee for his own benefit for him to make it to president? Does you know, he need I, to? I, I really don't know how I don't know why this fear is coming about Raila is not in Jubilee and so why do they um, you know the deputy president is coming out and saying he's now following up following him up in in, in jubilee i don't think Raila has but, but when you say he's not in jubilee what what does it mean to be in it, jubilee it is uh, i mean it means if you look at nak he jump in to NAC. If you look at uh, uh, Kanu, Raila went into Kanu and he, he, he said, I'm no more, you know, other parties, I'm a member of Kanu. And uh, of course, when you're looking at the history, he's jumped ship before, but in this case, Raila has not jumped ship. He's not joined Jubilee. Mm -hmm. They've just, the handshake it is between him and the president. And, and, and then I find it uh, totally uh, unacceptable when you're saying uh, that, uh, that he's come here and he's following me and he wants to kick me out of Jubilee. Uh, you know, he's not, not a member of Jubilee. Raila is not a member of Jubilee. And therefore, uh, you know, they say that if he's here told that, you know, jumping during daytime, somebody is really after his life. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the deputy president, he might know more than we do by saying, uh, are you guys following me here so that you can kick me out of Jubilee? But I can tell you what. Um, you know, the division in Jubilee is well known. It's in the public domain. And we've been saying this all along. Because in a position of the deputy president, and, and you're worried about your own party, that people might most likely kick you out of the, your own party, that is a clear sign of disunity and disorganization within the Jubilee party. Okay. And, and, and in my view, that is giving us great doubt as to whether they are able to achieve uh, the, the manifesto if from number two himself is saying, look, um, my life is in danger here. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be here. Some people <laughs> might throw me out of, of this place tomorrow. And, and so I really think that Jubilee needs to put its house in order so that some of their members do not go out there and say we are threatened from within. If they are threatened, they are threatened within the Jubilee from party. The Jubilee and party. that is unfortunate for mm -hmm. a country because then you're being governed and ruled by a party that is not sure of itself in the first All right, place. let me come to you, Ambrose Weda. Does the deputy president have any reason to mistrust Raila? Oh, every, there is something that Honorable Raila told him, and I think he didn't get it very well. He told him, you need me to become president. And going historically, they have been together, they have fought together, they have schemed together, they have had people together, so they know each other. So when now the uh, Honorable Ayala has gone to the president, uh, the pipe from the deputy president to the, uh, to the president, the airwaves have been reduced because Raila is there in between. As the deputy president feeds the president with something, Hon Raila is also there feeding the president. So it is muddying the waters for the deputy president. That's why he has every reason to be worried. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he knows that in a clear run with Hon Raila, Hon Raila that is supporting President Uru, so that the propaganda that he, he will finish the Kikuyu, he will do this, will hardly work. It is a run for his money. So he can see that Raila is a schemer and he's scheming. I think the mistake the deputy president made, it was the deputy president to scheme for people. 
he should have had the handshake with Raela before the president. Because he's the one who needs support for 2022. So he is very worried because there's a problem. And that problem, I know Honorable Raila will destroy mm -hmm. Jubilee.